We're here in Niamey Ekrom, Ghana. It's important to be here in West Africa and, and, and being a part of what we're doing here because this is where I'm from. We had looked at a, a long list of organizations to partner with in country to achieve the things that we wanted to do uh, in Africa, in West Africa specifically. And for you, the children really just fit the key points and the key factors that we were looking for. Free the Children is a children's charity and education partner. We aim to free children from exploitation and we also aim to free children from the notion that they are powerless to enact change. Here in our developing countries, such as where we stand today here in Ghana, we implement what we call the Adopt-a-Village model. And the Adopt-a-Village development model is the combination of looking at five pillars of development. Education, clean water and sanitation, healthcare, alternative income programming and food security and agriculture. The root of everything, you know, what we're doing here is, is really about just people supporting one another, community coming together and, and you know, for us education is a, a key component and a, and a critical part of any individual's growth and success. So this school that we're building represents uh, just education and the opportunity for thousands of kids in this community, in this area, to start to build a better future for themselves. What we're doing is we are building a foundation for something that's going to last for years and years. It's a little bit of sweat and a little bit of heat and a little bit of exhaustion for one day, but for education that's going to last for generations. For me, the most impactful moment would have to be school building um, because I don't think I was mentally and physically prepared for how much labor it would be and it gave me such an appreciation for the construction and also how much the community was invested in this construction and this project. We were laying the bricks and filling in the cement. We were mixing the cement, a lot of shoveling. It was a lot of hard work, a definitely more physical activity than I thought it would be, which gives me much greater sense of how much work it actually takes. During the water walk, we went down to the still water that the village has um, near to where their community is, which was extremely polluted. It was stagnant water. Obviously, there's a lot of bacteria and germs and disease growing in it, and waterborne diseases are such a huge problem. Um, so we filled our jerry cans with water, and they were really heavy, and we carried them back up to the school site. And we're grateful that our partnership with IAF enables these children to have a brighter education, to have cleaner lives, being able to provide toilets and sanitation, being able to have clean water with water projects. Together, Free the Children and IAF have big dreams for what is possible here in Ghana. You can see the difference between the kids now, and in one year when you look back and you see these children, you're going to see the incredible impact that the foundation has made on their behalf. You know, one constant through my upbringing and in my family and, and in my community was education first. And, and secondly, uh, with everything, your community, your family, the unity, supporting one another, community is global. You know, uh, service is, is something that is important. We're all connected regardless of where you're from. Francis Parker, our school in Chicago, and then Tuskegee International, our school in Accra, um, Ghana here. We connected them and, and the students on both levels of, of all ages pretty much um, through this banner that has the, our motto, the IAF motto, Together We Succeed. The students also wrote letters to each other that we'll be exchanging um, to Francis Parker from Tuskegee and vice versa and just, you know, really imprinting their minds on what that global connection can be and how to foster that education. When we look at this school being done, this is something that we've done together. Not just us as a team, but the people in this village, the people in this community together, globally, across you know, oceans, across boundaries, across language barriers, across races, we all have come together to succeed at providing access to education and health and wellness. At the end of the day, the most important thing is being able to literally connect with the kids 
and laughing with them, building those connections, those relationships, talking to them, looking at them in their eyes and letting them know how special they are, um, how important they are to the future of our communities, to the future of our world.